Today's problem involves a sphere. Where is the sphere? I see nothing on the board. Well, to get a sphere, we need to call a sphere. Sphere! See? Sphere came right to us. And with correct data credentials. So, the volume of the sphere is 288 pi. And we want to find the radius and the surface area. Now, I'll give you five seconds to try and do this on your own. But before that, you need to know some pretty important equations. First of all, how do you find the volume? Well, to find the volume, you need this equation. V is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. And for the surface area, you will have to have this formula, 4 pi r squared. All right, so that's the problem for today. Now, I'm going to give you five seconds to solve it before we reveal the solution. Volume is like the area of the sphere. It's like the area of a 3D object. What's inside this sphere? The volume of this sphere is how much Plato is like packed, stored inside the sphere. All right, so now what is the surface area? Well, taking the surface area, it's like if you squeeze this, all right, let's squeeze it on live camera, squeeze it so much, and then measure the area of that 2D object. And this object's area would be the surface area of the former sphere. All right, so now that's the volume and surface area just to give you an idea of what it would look like. And by the way, the radius would just be the radius of this circle. All right, so now let's see what we can do over here. The volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we can plug in the volume we know earlier to get 288 pi is equal to 4 thirds pi r squared. Uh, cubed, sorry. So now, we can cancel out these pi's on both sides by dividing both sides by pi, leaving us with 288 is equal to 4 thirds r cubed. Alright, we're getting close to finding the radius, but how do we isolate the r? First, let's take both sides and multiply them by 3. That will give us this. 864 is equal to 4 r cubed. And now, I think we can isolate this r cubed by dividing both sides by 4. What do you think? Well, let's see the answer in 3, 2, 1. Alright, here's the answer. We do divide by 4. If we cancel out, then we get 864 over 4. Quick, do that problem before I solve it. All right, three, two, one. So we can split this into multiple parts. 800 over four plus 64 over four. And that just gives us 200 plus 16 equals R cubed, which means 216 is R cubed, meaning our radius is six. All right, so now we found the radius. Let's go all the way back up. And we know that the radius is done. So we'll put a big fat check over there. All right, so now what about the surface area? How can we find that? Well, we know there's a special equation provided over here. And remember, the surface area would be the area of this little patty, which was a former sphere. Pi r squared, yeah, squared, and then we know r is six. So we just get 4 pi, what is 30, uh, 6 squared? I'll give you some time. Do it quick. 36. It's 36. 36 times 4 is, of course, 144. And then pi. So we found both of them. So we know that the surface area was 144 pi. And we know that our radius, or most people do it with a uh, lowercase r is gonna be six.
Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we will see you next time. Free Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming. Thank you.